better prepared. <laughs> okay, until next time. Mike's folks are coming in in a couple days. That's pretty funny. That's what we met in 14 years ago today and we just happened to walk right by it. Did you ever expect that this would be our life when we met ski bumming it in Colorado? We are at a dock, you guys, for the first time in over five months. It just feels like luxury right now. We are Mike and Taylor, and these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. After spending a couple weeks slowly working our way down to the city of La Paz, once we arrived there, it was a wild few days, packing in as many errands as possible. And after getting it all done, we are now on our way back north into the Sea of Cortez and headed back to the lovely town of Loreto. Our trip to La Paz was a total whirlwind. We got so much done, stuff that we needed to get done, so it was great. We were really only there for like five days, and when I say that we like, our appointments and tasks and errands and to-dos were like tetris in, I mean it like everything just like fit in perfectly. We got it all done in like four days and got out. So the last, I don't know, week or so, we've just been working our way back up from whence we came to the Loretto area because Mike's folks are coming in in a couple days. So here, so we are back in Loretto. We're just gonna pull into the marina this afternoon. It is time for a very, very thorough clean of the, uh, she needs a little TLC. But I think the coolest part about having Mike's folks in town is that we're going to be able to do a very, very thorough tour of Loretto. We're going to try a bunch of restaurants. We're going to go on some hikes around this place. So it's going to be a fun week ahead for sure. But for now, 
it's time to take care of some more to-dos. <laughs> Clean this house, do some laundry, and make make ourselves not look like a bunch of dirty old sailors. Do you know what I mean? It's been quite a morning here on Via. <laughs> Yesterday we pulled into uh, Puerto Escondido and we grabbed ourselves a mooring ball like we have um, before and then we just zipped into the docks here to grab a slip to just wash the boat for like two hours because it really needs like a good like fresh water rinse. There's so much salt and dust and rust happening so it really needs a, a cleaning. So we just pulled in to do that and then we just double checked if there was a slip available for the week and if we could stay in the marina for the full week instead of just a couple hours and then zooming back out. They had originally told us no, but then all of a sudden they said yes, which was great news except that we're now like gusting to like 22 knots and uh, I didn't film anything because it happened really fast. So we went from being like, okay, the slip's available, let's go now because the wind's just gonna keep picking up. So it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a <laughs> ordeal. We had a lot of audience, a lot of audience on the docks. But we also had some good moral support and some actual line handlers on the docks. So after like five attempts of backing in and just getting blown off and it not working out, we just pulled bow in, whatever, we're good, we're here, we're tied up. And we are at a dock, you guys, for the first time in over five months, we are tied to a dock and we will be in this slip for the week. And it's kind of weird, but it's actually also really nice in a lot of ways. So we're just settling in. Ah, it's been quite a morning already. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be a good week here in Puerto Escondido. amazing having this hose for the first time in five months yeah and like what a like privilege this is to have like unending fresh water coming out of a tap yeah was, we have to be so careful with, we can't even though just we, have a water maker, it's just we like, do but you can't just like hose things down at will I mean you have to be really careful about where you spend your water and this is kind of incredible that's funny I still like you know, I was even like washing my hands here, like in the bathroom on shore, yeah. and I still do the like Turn water it off. on, water yeah. off. And when we were at my parents back in October, I was like taking a shower and I was shutting the water off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did that at home too. It yeah. was crazy. <laughs> Well, we had a really long day of cleaning the boat. We filmed about seven seconds of it, <laughs> but we just scrubbed and cleaned and, and Via is feeling much better already. Since it's been so long since we've been at a dock, one of the things that I just dug out are these things that I made. And they are sort of like privacy sort of things for our windows because we've got really narrow docks here. So our neighbors are like right there. So this is just the film, sort of that self-adhesive, there's no actual sticky bit on here, it's sort of like a static hold. I bought a roll of it and then I cut a whole bunch um, of these sheets to size and you just apply it with a little bit of water and one of these things. And it's like the easiest, cheapest way for a little bit of privacy when we're at the dock and you can see in everybody's house at nighttime. Uh, so I'm putting those up right now. And Mike is going to pick up a pizza from the restaurant right over there, which is like, it just feels like luxury right now. We've got unlimited water to clean the boat. We've got unlimited power. We can just plug things in without having to worry about our battery charge. Amazing. We've got a restaurant and a little market right over there so we can just walk off the boat and get anything that we want from there. It's like, it's like fancy living here at the dock and <laughs> I forgot. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is a $500 plate dinner. Good night. Oh, 500. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Here, put us down for a 
Put us down for four. In case we want seconds. <sighs> so, he's picking up pizza. We are exhausted. We are gonna have an early night. And uh, I'm gonna finish putting up these little here window covers. We picked the perfect week to be tied to a dock for the first time in ages. There is some wind out there. Uh, not just today, but this whole week. We're on Tuesday right now, and today's supposed to be pretty windy. It's supposed to mellow out for a couple of days, but then at the end of the week, Friday and Saturday, it's supposed to be gusting up near 40. And Mike's parents land this afternoon, so we we're really hoping to be able to take them out for just a little kind of day sail, crossover to Don Zante. But um, I don't know, we'll see what the weather's doing. It's been, it's been wild. I'm so glad we're at a dock. Like, so glad. <laughs> it looks so gross out on the mooring field. Oh. continue to be thankful that we have a slip in the marina this week and after a few days of really really intense cleaning like inside outside upholstery pillows bilge and um, basically having like bilge water splash in my face for three days you know, i'm a good guy You're right a great guy yeah i'm a great guy we're all great guys who deserve right. it we're good people all right here's the point it feels very nice to clean up a little bit and put on some clothes and get ready to go out to dinner with Mike's parents who are just checking into their hotel right now. I'm really excited to see them. Off we go. It's a beautiful evening and we're gonna go grab some dinner. Hi! Ah! Yeah. Yes! Hi. Hello! Would see like huge bait balls. Of, um, they're, they're... <laughs> oh, look. I was just look like.
we've got Mike's folks here for the week and uh, we're renting some kayaks at their hotel. Yesterday we were actually able to go out on the boat, which was great because it's literally the only day the whole week that that would have worked. And right now it's kind of fun being out in a kayak. Whoa. <laughs> we're live out here in Loretto Bay with Mike. Mike, what does it feel like to be the representative of the color yellow today? <laughs> feels good. Just be honest. Uh, it feels good. It, feels... it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> next time be better prepared. <laughs> okay, until next time. I just want to say that today happens to be our 14 year anniversary. We met 14 years ago in Vail, Colorado, where we had each moved on our own for funsies. And then 14 <laughs> years later, here we are in Mexico, living a life we never thought we'd see coming. Anyway, it's kind of nice. So we're going to go out to dinner in Loretto and uh, with your parents. It's romantic. <laughs> and, <yeah>. and celebrate. <laughs> That we actually met is way too long of a story to share an episode maybe we'll do it sometime if you guys need to know we'll 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 do it but very very short version of it is that i was going to a party and uh i brought my friend and who's still one of my best friends and she asked if uh, she could bring some friends and so we went to go pick them up on the way and i pulled in to i was driving i've only owned one car my whole life and I pulled in to pick up this squad and this is literally the car that I was driving I mean not literally the car but this is the car twin that's actually pretty funny yeah uh, and this is why our first little trailer sailor was named Pathfinder because this was the car this is the car we met in the same color how often do you see I don't know but that's really funny <laughs> So that's pretty funny. That's what we met in 14 years ago today and we just happened to walk right by it. Also, there's a dog pooping on the beach down there. So it's all really, it, it's yeah, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Next time on Sailing Via, we take a trip inland and visit a beautiful mission high up in the desert mountains. And we give Via one last scrub before saying goodbye to the dock. Are you going to go to the market? You could be a little Romanian lady or 
You could be like a babe from the 1950s going for a ride in a convertible. It's hard to say. Oh. Desire, desire. <laughs>